Hello boys and girls, Ilias here again. Uh, tonight I have another unboxing for you. This time it's a motherboard, and it's a motherboard from ASUS. It's the Maximus 8 Gen Micro ATX motherboard for the sixth generation Intel CPU for the Skylake 14 nanometer CPUs, i3, i5, and i7 um, grades. Um, it's a small motherboard. Some people think that smaller motherboards deliver usually deliver less performance but it's not the case in um, with these gaming motherboards from ASUS this motherboard delivers all the features that you might want uh, and that you get with uh, the standard ATX motherboard apart from a few uh, missing PCI Express slots which uh, it's uh, proven that 80 to 90 percent of the people uh, around the world never use more than one video card so uh, the second uh, slot you can use for your I don't know as a PCI Express SSD card or external separate uh, audio card but apart from that there is no other reason why not to go for smaller build and smaller motherboard if you have limited space and if you don't like bulky big cases um, and you don't you're not planning to water cool and feed 10 radiators and in your build so this is a great motherboard for a small form factor it's uh, 25 by 25 centimeters 24.4 actually and it supports up to four memory uh, themes so uh, let's open it up to see what it has and uh, what it delivers it's a nice uh, black and red uh, coloring scheme as always from ASUS so here is the motherboard itself let's put it here aside a bit for a second see what, it, what else we have in the box so it's the input output shield which is uh, padded I'll demonstrate it for you so you have a better idea so as you can see it's padded so no damage uh, happens to your motherboard when you push uh, your different uh, devices and when you align the motherboard to your case some Republic of Gamer stickers why not and the safety information uh, some labeling information for your keyboard because there are some one-click uh, keys which are called the keybots 2 so if you press F12, F11, it's uh, one-click overclocking. So if you can program it, you can stick uh, uh, it to your keyboard. So you have better idea uh, how it works. So it's this one is for CPU. It's one-click OC. F12, if you want to configure the XMP or apply the XMP. The delete key is for direct key. Uh, then power on for enter and the clear CMOS for uh, control so you have uh, some customizable keys there uh, why not why not to use them so you, you have the keys here that you can attach to your keyboard or label your hard drives if you want and the hanging thing for the door game over you may enter so whatever your warranty form which you need to fill make sure that you do it and then your motherboard quick start guide so you know where to connect what a uh, user guide from ASUS uh, which is sometimes they include the colored colorful one this this is not but uh, it's quite detailed one as usual and it comes in uh, in English only at least the one that I have um, the Windows 10 ready uh, disk as it says so it's a Z170 chipset so it's obviously optimized for Windows 10 which you need to upgrade to to make sure that you have DirectX 12 uh, capabilities in your gaming especially if you have a DirectX 12 capable card so you need to make sure to do, you do that uh, it's a CPU installation tool actually this is the first time I see something like this uh, make processor installation easy. Um, I don't know when it was hard, but uh, so you could you place your CPU in this thing and it helps you to install it. So if you're not sure what you're doing, you can 
place the CPU here and read the instructions included inside. Your SLI bridge, it's a flexible one, so ordinary flexible. Um, the um, front panel connectors stand off, so it makes easier to connect uh, all those front panel LEDs and the re buttons, uh, so you can then connect them outside of the box and then just you know connect this this one only to the motherboard. I will demonstrate it uh, in a second, so you have an idea how it works. Then we have a screw here. Um, I'm not sure what this screw is all about, but uh, I will check. I will check and uh, let you know. And we have some SATA cables, uh, angled to two angled and two straight. So we have four uh, SATA three cables, six gigabit per second. So it should be enough to connect all your SSDs and hard drive. So now let's get to the motherboard itself. As you can see. It's it's small but nice. It looks very good. It has the CPU socket here, which you can use the tool to ins install your CPU if you're not sure what, what you're doing. Four uh, DDR4 uh, slots. So this Z170 is the first uh, mainstream. We don't count the Haswell Extreme, which is more as a workstation and um, you know expert motherboard. This is the first mainstream motherboard that supports DDR4 and it supports up to from uh, one, uh, 2133 MHz up to 3800 MHz overclocked uh, memory and it supports up to 64 GB so 16 gigs each slot. But it's a, du du a dual channel memory so you need to pop populate two, uh, two of uh, each uh, channels to make sure that you run uh, at full memory bandwidth and uh, maximum performance. Then we have two uh, PCI Express 3 slots uh, which are capable 16 speed or 2 8 speed uh, depending on which configuration you run and you have two slot space in between so uh, in uh, ideally you can run uh, up to quad channel uh, quad SLI which means that if you're running two dual GPU cards, so you have a quad, quad SLI or you just run two SLI uh, setup. Um, I will demonstrate you with, uh, with the card so you have an idea how big the card might look on this uh, setup. So I have here the motherboard. As you can see, um, I have the card here as well. So I'm connecting a 28 centimeter card here. You can, you can see how, how big this thing is so it uh, actually dwarfs the uh, motherboard itself but it's a huge card but as you can see there is a space for second card here and you can drop in here so it can hang just right the, right the uh, you know edge of the motherboard but no problem with that so you can connect two full-length GPUs keeping in mind that your case fits it and also I have two ballistics elite DDR4 memory uh, dims so you, we, I'm gonna drop them in so you have an idea how it looks with the memory installed as well this is how it looks uh, since it's a black motherboard and with uh, red uh, tones you can use either a, a black or red RAM to make it look better. Any RAM that you like, a RAM memory in 100% is going to be the same for uh, you know usual gamers because uh, from brand to brand it's not going to make any difference. Uh, even even if you have 1000 megahertz faster memory in games, you're not going to notice the difference. Uh, the amount of RAM matters more than the speed of RAM, except if you are uh, overclocking and if you are a hardcore enthusiast which doesn't care about uh, gaming experience but cares more about megahertz and you know breaking records. So um, enough about uh, memory and uh, graphics. So we, as as I said, there is a standoff for your front panel. 
So you, when as soon as you connect all the connectors here, LEDs and reset uh, power buttons, you can connect it here easily. And we have six fan connectors. We have uh, front audio. We have use one USB 2.0 here and one USB 3.0 uh, connectors here. So two USB connectors. This goes to your front panel and this goes to your front panel as well in most cases. Uh, unless if you have uh, an internal uh, component that is running uh, using your USB port so you can do some internal customization and um, you know if you have a software to customize it. We also have eight SATA 3 connectors here so you can run them in RAID. Then you have the M.2 connector here so you drop it in right in between the cards if you would like to utilize the PCI Express bandwidth for your storage, then you can use this port here. Uh, and it's going to be very fast and it's not going to take any space. And then you have Supreme FX audio, separate audio, which should be pretty good. So let's go to the input output shield. Uh, here we have uh, the BIOS reset button, uh, the uh, overclocking reset button. Then you have USB 3.1, uh, the AE standard, the normal standard where you can connect your storage and uh, all those other uh, nice stuff for maximum performance for up to uh, 10 gigabits per second. And then you have the USB-C uh, port here, which comes usually with the Mac MacBook, the new MacBook. And, uh, you know, the, this is the new uh, standard that... Um, Apple is started using so if you have devices or something that utilize this port you can you can use it uh, it's good to see that they have all this flexibility um, even though I would prefer to see two USB 3.1 standard ports then we have six USB 3 ports the normal USB 3 as you can see there are no more USB 2 ports here provided apart from the one that we have here that goes can go to front panel then we have uh, a channel uh, audio supreme fx pro so you can uh, connect uh, all your devices audio here uh, including the optical out which is 5.1 and then you have a gigabit um, ethernet port for your convenience and uh, last but not least you have uh, HDMI and display ports here for if you're going to be utilizing the onboard video card that comes with your CPU. Uh, the one that we're going to use on this one is the standard uh, Intel i7-6700, the CPU. Uh, the reason why we are not using the 6700K uh, is because that CPU is uh, not possible to find uh, at the time of this video, uh, end of October. Uh, we were not able to find it anywhere because Intel is not able to uh, keep up with the demand and uh, it's out of stock everywhere and the price is uh, going sky high so for those looking for 67.00k and is not able to find I recommend going Haswell Extreme and you know having the benefit of quad channel memory instead of overpaying for quad core CPU even though it's a, it's a great CPU but uh, it's not worth it uh, at least for us to overpay for that CPU but in any case that the uh, you can use the onboard video with this uh, going up to 4k it's capable of uh, doing so and it also reserve 500 mem at least 500 meg megabytes from your system memory for uh, running that and uh, previously what I was saying about there was two screws I was uh, I told you about uh, they are for uh, your uh, M.2 uh, drive, so you c it's a standoff here, so you screw it here and then there is a small screw to screw it on top to fix your M.2 drive here in place. Apart from this, uh, there is nothing much to say about this motherboard. Um, it's, it's great. Ah, I forgot to mention the uh, uh, PS2 for your old school m uh, mouse or keyboard, so you can connect them uh, here. Uh, it's nice to see it, but I, I don't think many people are using it. 
part if you're using some old uh, mechanical keyboard. Then we have a button here. If you press it, it goes straight to the uh, BIOS if you need it. Well, apart from that, it's a great motherboard. Um, delivers all the features that you want in a small form factor compared to the full ATX motherboards that uh, provide you with a couple of more PCI Express ports. Apart from that, solid, well-built, uh, nice motherboard, aesthetically and performance-wise. Uh, if you have any experience with this motherboard and uh, if you already use it, please share with us your thoughts. Let us know what you think. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments section and subscribe so uh, you see all the videos that we post if you like what we are doing uh, also like the video as well thanks for watching hope to see you again soon bye bye now